ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದೋದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿಂದಿಭ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಕಂಗೋಂಗ್ಲಂಘೇತಿ ಯತ್ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವ್ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರನ್ನು ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಜನ ತರಣ್ಯ ವೀರ್ತಾತ್ಮಿಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರ್ನಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷು ವರ್ಷಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕ್ಯುಕಾಂಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರವಭಕ್ತ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಪೌರಭಕ್ತ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಯಾನುಡಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗುಧಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಅನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಆಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ಪದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ನಿಖಿಲೋಶ್ರುತಿ ಮೌಲಿರತ್ನಮಾಲಾ ದ್ಯುತಿ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜಾಂತು 
ಐಮುಕ್ತಗೋಲೈರಪಸಮನಂ ಪರಿಸ್ತಶಂ ಹರಿಣ ಸಂಶಯಿ ನಿಖಿಲೋಶ್ರುತಿ ಮೌಲಿರತ್ನಮಾಲಾದೂತಿ ನಿರಾಜಿತೋ ಪಂಕುಜಾಂತ ಐ ಮುಕ್ತಕೂಲೈರುಪಸಮನ ಪರಿಸ್ತಶಂ ಹರಿಣ ಸಂಶಯ ಗೌರಿಗೋಷ್ಠಿಪತಿ ಗೌಡೆಯ ಗೋಷ್ಠಿಪತಿ ಶಿಶಿಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾಟ್ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಟೋಲ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸೇವಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಹರಿನಾಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾತ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹರಿನಾಮ್ ಗೌಡೆಯ ಗೋಷ್ಠಿಪತಿ ಶಿಶಿಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾತ್ paramahansa jagadguru told he is given given this answer yes definitely we are sevak we are the actually servant of harinam yes in atma swarup in krishna roop in swarup avastha apart from krishna seva we don't have any uh, seva apart from that atma swarup hai krishna swarup just be careful about this point understand this atma swarup when bhagwan is swayam they are in the form of vikrah and bhagwan has just manifested in the form of devotees in every form in every form we just have to do the service of that in every form that is our duty that is roop naam gun naam parikar naam vishisht naam neela naam everything all these are prakrit transcendental naam prabhu we just need to do the seva of naam prabhu all the time so krishna naam and krishna vastu is all the same non different i have already discussed this yesterday and prabhupad is actually speaking to do hari naam to do hari naam and to meet with hari is all the same krishna naam is is that krishna vastu swayam of this there is no doubt about it that's why in that to do naam seva is to do krishna seva but actually we can just see that krishna seva and krishna naam seva we are actually not uh, recognizing it we are thinking that it is we don't recognize that it is the same thing that krishna seva and krishna naam seva we just forget this but but when we just uh, have this vichar inside of our mind when we just forget this thing that krishna seva and krishna naam seva when we forget then definitely we uh, we just forget our swarup when we just get just forget our swarup then there is a big problem when we forget krishna seva then we forget krishna seva and krishna naam seva is all the same is the one and the same and krishna seva in different form krishna krishna and krishna dham naam everything is krishna seva when we are actually and krishna naam seva is when we forget this that it is one and the same then we there is brahm in our swarup we are just forgetting our swarup natural swarup and shila santu ko swami mara gaya actually this kirtan shila gurudev dev mai has written this kirtan in this kirtan he has written that in this kirtan when you must have already heard why think so why you haven't heard this you haven't this kirtan actually everyone knows very nice kirtan gurudev dev amoy and in this kirtan it is written that directly with the direct feeling that is the direct feeling that is the direct feeling of sant goswami maharaj it is not a philosophy virupe swarup bhavi mormon maya te akrishta jo virup hai jo virup 
which is not which is in our swarup that i am not a king i am not a praja i am not this this thing actually mahaprabhu has already instructed us but nobody actually understand this mahaprabhu is actually speaking this is not our swarup that i am a king main raja hu i am a king i am a prime minister minister i am a doctor main science scientist i am a professor maine kai bar chacha i have lot discussed it a lot of time that in this infinity brahmand whether any title you are getting that i am a very good sportsman this that all actually just given by maya devi this is not my actual swarup actual title what is my actual swarup in order to get that that what is my actual swarup in order to get that guru vaishnav are all the time becoming busy in just giving us that original title but we don't want to take that apna swarup ka parichay we just only our swarup can get we can get by just guru kripa apna manmani chalne se just by going on our fanciful mind pathway we will not get that at all so this is not at all possible what mahaprabhu has told this to this uh, thing has told that i am not vaishya not i am not shudra i am not uh, king i am not not this praja nothing i am i have only one uh, identification that i am the <coughs> das of krishna i am the servant of krishna when in our life there will be vismriti vishruti ka hota hai which is distorted uh, it is done uh, by maya devi that distort distortion comes in our life and there is different kind of uh, problems uh, which it looks it comes in our life nirvachinna bhagwan that sigrachin bhagwan that any dham naam when we are not uninterrupted uh, when there is an interrupted darshan there is some barrier in that then for that who is actually uh, only we are actually we are whom to blame we are i am only responsible for that to aap jo jab bhul jate hain when we actually forget this point then there is swarup visruti then we can't there is brahm in our swarup and by the and by maya we are actually just getting uh, going on the negative direction and we are just getting distress that's it we become very unhappy guru ki pakka so just by guru kripa when we are just getting uh, uh, getting our relationship with bhagwan that gases get activated that sambandh gyan by the guru kripa shri guru ki paaye bhinne che sapon ekhon bujhino tumi apan santukhe santukhe swami maharaj ji tumi this guru ki paaye वर्ल्ड Maharaj, nobody is of any. When I will be just to have the time to go from this material, I have to go. So who actually just actually loving me? Everything is rubbish. So in this way, Prabhupada actually speaking that when we just forget that the Krishna seva, Krishna seva, Nam seva, then there is vismriti of swarup. We just forget our actual swarup and this distorted swarup. just we think that that is actual swarup and we are just getting distress from all this material world just by guru kripa when that sambandh gyan just get activated after that we can just understand that we are actually the nityadas of krishna and we are actual nityadas of krishna bhagwan ji guru krishna prasad bhagwan ji bhagwan ji from infinity period we are just under the 
clutches of Maya, and we are just uh, uh, going after this. And when we just uh, get into the stage that we are actually Nityadas of Krishna, that is actually Sambandhya. And in the Upanishad, in the Isha Upanishad also there it is written. In the Isha Upanishad also it is written. We can understand. Prabhupada so, actually speaking that in that time we can understand that uh, in this whole material world nothing is mine. Everything is for the service of Bhagwan. Everything is for Bhagavad Seva. But it doesn't mean that that is a topmost thing. But it doesn't mean that these actually they are actually they can go out of Maya. It actually it is possible for them to go out of Maya. Hundred percent it is possible. From infinity period, he is actually under the clutches of Maya. You can understand this from the Kirtan itself. But this actually, this from infinity period, that Bhav Anadi Bhairmu Bhav in the Jeevas, aversive attitude. attitude. This definitely we can go. How? It is just by the grip of Guru Vishnu. Without that it is not at all possible. Why? Because these uh, bonded jivas on their tongue, uh, Harinam Sankirtan, it is not possible to get on. By the grip of Guru Vishnu, it is possible when all the anarts are gone. After that, Shud Harinam can get manifested. And that's why Rupa Swami Pad has written. That's why Rupa Swami Pad has written. So Rupa Swami Pad has written Swayam that in bonded Jeeva don't have this much of uh, effort that they can, that is the topmost thing, that they, they can just do Shuddha Krishna Nam. That from our sense organs, with a, because the Harinam is not of this material world. That is, with, it is not at all uh, taken by our sense organs, by sense organ perception, by sense of perception it is not possible, Harinam. So that's why. So how to actually uh, do that? When actually our uh, sense organs, all our sense organs and our mind, material mind is just getting for going for Krishna Seva. It is just getting busier in Krishna Seva. It is just becoming busier in Krishna Seva. It becomes Seva Mukh at that time. On our tongue, that Shuddha Harinam definitely will automatically will get manifested. It means that Harinam on that Harinam, there is no pressure, there is no controlling power on Harinam. Nothing will happen. Harinam is self manifested. Hari and Harinam. Hari and Harinam. And Hari and Harinam, they are Swayam, self-manifested uh, object and on them you cannot have any forcible attitude that I can do Harinam one lakh, this kind of, this is actually false ego. If this can happen, then Bhakti Thakur, why it, he has written this, that I can do Harinam? Bhakti Thakur, why actually written like this? Bhakti Thakur has written now. When Naam Roop just get manifested, it, it is just giving Kipa on us. It is just giving Kipa on us. 
lot of kripa is falling on us chidanando mito dham paratattu akshar ho yako nijo jane ki pa kori nam rupe avotori jive daya korile apa jayo hari krishna naam jag jano shubhi sram sarva jano mara saranjano mone bindo nirantaro jena mero samadaro kori gai hari avada o he krishna naam akshara tumi sarva shakti dharo jive rokal ano bitara so nice kirtan actually this uh, you can understand this by this that bhaktivinoda thakur has uh, just uh, what is the face of harinam what is the swarup of harinam he has just made manifested all the bhav everything is manifested by he has just made one picture one uh, he has just clicked one picture of golok from golok vrindavan he has just want to send it in front of us as it is that is actually bhaktivinoda thakur glorification of bhakti mata ko so much power actually is there that it seems that one picture has been clicked by bhakti mata ko to go to golok is not possible for us so how he has just uh, click one picture from golok and has sent to us so nice but still actually we are actually foolish we don't want to do anything very actually surprising to see this that this sambandh gan after that it is just getting activated we have that aprakrit transcendental uh, sambandh when we are having that that we are actually nityadas of krishna after that this kind of realization also coming that we are actually having to not here to enjoy any kind of object in this material world teno tekteno hunjita ma kashashitana that in this material world we are an or any person or any uh, anything we haven't come here to enjoy we don't have any greediness on that why because it is not yours everything is for the service of bhagwan and guru vishnu actually is our own person and uh, bhagwan is a prakrit and bhagwan as you bhagwan is not different after realizing all this then definitely you will be in actual you can do uh, bhagavat seva apart from that you can't do jo mahaprabhu ji ne so mahaprabhu what have told that ne kimba jagarone aur ne to aur ne so chinto krishna bolo hobada when in bhoj when while doing taking food when you are active when you are sleeping whatever activity you are doing every day every time you just need to speak hari naam every time you just need to think of krishna and you just need to do the naam of krishna all the time that's it so that mahaprabhu the updesh of mahaprabhu instruction of mahaprabhu by that what actually we can get those actually prabhu actually told those who are actually uh, getting out of this sansar this material world they want to get out of this material world those who actually want to get out of this material world those who actually want that nitya so they just want to realize that that eternal happiness please eternal eternal bliss they want that they definitely will be following the instructions of chaitanya mahaprabhu and just by following those they will be just doing naam sankirtan all the time laughing mood aasthe hui mahaprabhu laughing mood will be just following the instructions of mahaprabhu naam sankirtan karu param upaya is a divine panacea for this particularly for this kali for all yuga for all yuga har yuga 
for every yogi harinam is uh, effective i have already have just uh, proved yesterday about that all the time when you are doing naam sankirtan all the time on your tongue nothing is coming on your tongue apart from that naam sankirtan then that is the actual instruction direct instruction of mahaprabhu that's why all those devotees those who are actually loving uh, गोरंग महाप्रभु कृष्ण दे आर एक्चुअली थिंकिंग दैट दे आर सर्वेंट ऑफ नाम प्रभु ऑल द टाइम कीर्तन दे आर डू नाम कीर्तन रूप कीर्तन गुण कीर्तन लीला कीर्तन परिकर विशिष्ट कीर्तन ऑल कीर्तन एक्चुअली इट इज एक्चुअली एक्सटेंसिव प्रकाश ऑफ नाम प्रभु दैट्स वाई इन चैतन्य महाप्रभु ऑल दो डिवोटीज ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभु दो अनुगणमनकारी those who are actually taking shelter of gorang mahaprabhu they are actually thinking as a servant of nam prabhu like uh, up till that point mahaprabhu has just uh, given this thing that those who are actually as i am lakshpati i am taking those who are lakshpati i am number dar those who are lakshpati those who are lakshpati actually i am just taking food in his hand and actually all devotees become very surprised that lakshpati actually we i am very poor i don't have any money or oh, you do actually can't understand what mahaprabhu used to speak lakshpati means those doing malya kharinam because actual sampatti is harinam only actual treasure is harinam you don't have this thing whether you are thinking or not you can't understand but mahaprabhu actually just approved this that harinam is the actual treasure those who are lakshpati those who are nambardar those who are doing one lakh harinam all the time uh, in his hand i take prasadam otherwise i don't take any i don't take even water also from his hand who is not doing one lakh harinam so mark all those devotees become very surprised they become fearful that oh, they actually you can't understand that i am who is actual lakshpati those who is doing one lakh harinam with full respect is doing that जो 1 लाख दोस्त हु इज डूइंग वन लाख हरिनाम विद फुल रिस्पेक्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड लक्ष्यपति सो ऑल दोस्त डिवोटीज विदाउट एनी विदाउट एनी आर्ग्यू आर्ग्यूइंग मोड आप तो लोग मान लिया ऑल दोस्त डिवोटीज जस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट वी हैव टू डू वन लाख हरिनाम दैट इज द एक्चुअल रुचि ऑफ महाप्रभु दैट इज एक्चुअल इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट इज एक्चुअल इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ महाप्रभु that is just to fulfill the desire of bhagwan that is bhakti so if bhagwan is actually speaking that we have to do one lakh harinam and he become very happy with me okay in the night time actually a lot of time in sleeping so still i have to do that just because it is not possible to uh, make bhagwan happy without that so those who are actually following this kodiya mathadarsh they are actually thinking themselves as servant of naam prabhu and in this whole material world they are just seeing every jeeva and every object uh, they are just uh, and they are not uh, whatever this object of enjoyment by krishna they are every object he is just diverted towards krishna they are just uh, uh, thinking that this is of krishna this is for enjoyment for krishna so what is krishna naam कृष्णा में अखिल रसामृत सिंधु अखिल रसामृत सिंधु वेन महाप्रभु वेन टू अलाहाबाद वेन महाप्रभु वेन टू अलाहाबाद जस्ट मेक रूप को स्वामी पाथ एंड जस्ट ऑल एक्चुअली फाइव एलिमेंट्स इंजॉइंग मोड दी यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू स्पीक इन फ्रंट ऑफ रूप को स्वामी पाथ दैट he just is spoken that i have done a lot of efforts bhagwan shri just to get the roop gun liya parikar of shri krishna roop naam gun naam of shri krishna in, to manifest in front of you i i actually want to see but believe me that krishna that is akhil akhil rasamrit sindhu he is in from infinity brahmand in uh, transcendental and uh, material whatever is there he is the actual uh, uh, source of all rasa krishna sikrishna naam shri krishna and shri krishna naam is akhil rasamrit sindhu krishna naam ko krishna krishna naam actually mahaprabhu actually told 
compared to the roop this krishna naam you just understand that is akhil rasamrit sindhu be sure about that because bhakti mohan thakur has written tab alpo spurti pai kukurata ure jay lingo bhang hoy mane ase in the second kirtan also in the second kirtan also bhakti mohan thakur has written that the all these kirtan by these kirtans it is written it is proved that that krishna is akhil rasamrit sindhu is a source of all rasa directly directly or indirectly prakrit or anywhere all coming from the original source raso visho raso hi eva ayam labhanandi bhakti upanishad ka kehna it is written in upanishad so krishna naam sachidanand vikra swayam i have already told previously in bengali katha jo that भगवान दास बाबा जी भगवान दास बाबा जी महाराज प्लीज एक्चुअली यूज टू सर्च नाम ब्रह्म दिस नाम अक्षर हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे दिस अक्षर एक्चुअली यूज टू वर्शिप दिस नाम ब्रह्म इन श्री पाट इन कालना डोंट यूज टू वर्शिप एनी विग्रह यू ओनली यूज टू वर्शिप नाम ब्रह्म ऑल द टाइम भगवान दास बाबा जी महाराज एंड देर आर एक्चुअली लॉट ऑफ गुरु वर कवर्स इज दे एक्चुअली लाइक कृष्ण दास बाबा जी महाराज दे यूज टू डू अर्चन ऑफ नाम प्रभु एंड सर्विस ऑफ नाम प्रभु ऑल द टाइम सो कृष्ण नाम इज अखिल रसामृत सिंधु देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट एंड श्री कृष्ण नाम इज सचिदानंद विग्रह नाम एंड नाम यू आर नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू प्रीवियसली yesterday to about this you can you can uh, just remember that point what i told purna shuddha nitya mukto avinnatva nam namino ye amne bataya i have told you yesterday in the padma purana it is written three days pehle bataya three days before i have told you to Sri Krishna Nam is Sri Krishna Vigraha Sri Krishna Nam is the Sham Sundar Yashoda Nanda is the source of all rasa that the seva of Krishna Nam is sakshat Krishna seva only when there is some gapping when it is free from gapping when free it is free of gapping of maya what is the gapping between me and maya by which Krishna ka naam gun leela vishishta etc pyan it is actually barrier in realization of that i am what is our actual barrier in front of us what is the barrier in front of our realization about krishna naam what is that what is the actual that is the uh, barrier of maya between me and bhagwan that is called gapping of maya devi if it is actually getting removed sometimes when this gapping is getting removed when it gapping is removed it is removed then we can understand that krishna is the source of all rasa he is that shodanandan that sham sandar we can understand that then we can realize that point that he is that akhil rasamrit sindhu and shri krishna naam seva is the top most is swayam krishna seva that's why all those devotees all those devotees is actually doing krishna krishna naam sankirtan by that only they are all the time doing krishna seva guru krishna and they are just getting uh, they are just making uh, guru krishna guru krishna they are just making him happy they are making all the efforts in that to make them happy that's why krishna shri krishna naam is actually swayam krishna seva that's why all the devotees are just uh, busy in doing shri naam sankirtan by that naam sankirtan they are all the time busy to to krishna seva they just want to make happy guru seva they are just making their efforts to make guru seva happy guru and krishna happy and i have told you previously as well that bhakti mr thakur under the guidance of bhakti mr thakur Especially 
especially in this kalikal i have already told you that you can already you already know that that in this kalikal in other you also naam is all the time uh, manifested naam but apart from now nothing is up not naam is the top most in every yuga naam is the top most han for hari naam is more uh, up the uh, top most than hari that's why hari na uh, uh, hanuman ji has just told uh, on the shila he is actually writing ram naam and he just uh, throw it into the ocean and uh, just ram se to the he has built that who has built that brahma ji maharaj hanuman ji maharaj ji ki jai ye hanuman ji maharaj has proved that that uh, swam ram is there on this shila and uh, ram and ram naam Hey Shri Ram, he has just uh, written that on the shila, and he just thrown it in the ocean, and that uh, ocean just got float floated on the ocean. This is not a joking. This is just a actual thing. This is actual thing. So, it is actually written there in the shastra as well. That in in Dwapar there is different bhajan. In Treta Yuga there is different bhajan. In Kalikal there is different bhajan. In Satyuk there is different bhajan. So okay, it is written there, like right. And in different different uh, kal, different different time there is Tarak Brahm Mantra. In each and every yuga there is Tarak Brahm Mantra that is different in every yuga. It means that in every yuga those who are actually just delivering, those who are delivering each and every yuga that mantra that is Tarak Brahm. For Treta Yuga, that is Tarak Brahm. In each and every yuga, there is different different mantra. But in the shastra, it is written in the shastras about this. In Satyuga, those by we can just get by Dhyan. In Krita Yuga. In Satyuga, what is there? Now, in Treta Yuga, it is different. This bhajan is different. That padhati is different. Krita jo thaya to Vishnu, Krita jo thaya to Vishnu, Treta Yam, jad jad to makhi, jagya ke dwara. By that yagya, it can be done. And in Dwapar, what is written? Whatever actually you getting in Satyuk, it is not at all that cheap. In Treta Yuga, by Dhyan you can get. In Satyuk, by Dhyan it is you can get that. And in Treta Yuga actually you can. By Yagya it can be possible. And in Dwapar Yuga. By Parichardya Archan and in Kalikal and very easily you can get it by Nam Sankirtan. Everything can be done by Nam Sankirtan in Kalikal. So it's a very important point. So lo, especially in this Kalikal, all jivas actually is very weak. is very weak jivas are very weak this is very is useless and he has having disease and all kind of different problems he has become so useless now that if he is not taking one time uh, grains then he will just uh, fell sick on the bed if he will not taking any kind of grains then definitely he will so much weak he is now that's why Uh, that kind of arrangement is done in the padma puran about shri hari naam it is already written there that i have already told in the first day i have already told you this point that shri larup was one was and also as written uh, one arth about this The actual meaning of this shloka, written by Shri Rupa Goswami. Rupa Goswami Pad has written what he has written. 
एक मीन्स ओनली वन ओनली वन तत्व दैट इज ओनली वन तत्व दैट ब्रजेंद्र नंदन कृष्ण सच्चिदानंद रूपम तत्यम विदा अविर्भूतम इति अर्थ एक ही तत्व देयर इज ओनली वन तत्व इट इज कमिंग इन फॉर्म ऑफ डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स इट इज कमिंग ये बात भी हमने बहुत बार दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम मे बी इन दिस इंफिनिटी ब्रह्मांड अनंत ब्रह्मांड मे बी इन दिस इंफिनिटी ब्रह्मांड जो कुछ भी है व्हाटएवर इज देयर एक्चुअली एवरीथिंग इज भगवान नथिंग इज देयर and there is only one adhyay gyan tattva there is only one adhyay gyan tattva only one only one adhyay gyan tattva is there still bhagwan he is actually taking different kind infinity infinity forms he is taking infinity forms i have already told and diversity in unity मूल तत्व श्री कृष्ण सर्वशक्तिमान श्री कृष्ण सर्वशक्तिमान दैट शक्तिमान पुरुष हुज ऑल पावरफुल इट इज डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मैनिफेस्टेशंस ऑफ पावर ही हैज इज मैनिफेस्टिंग दैट शक्तिमान पुरुष एक्चुअली इज मैनिफेस्टिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पावर्स ही दिस पावर इज एक्चुअली एवरीथिंग एंड ही इज एक्चुअली मेकिंग द पुरुष मैनिफेस्टिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरीवन just by taking the darshan shashak power darshan of power that uh, krishna swarup is just getting manifested in front of us bas by the by the grace of krishna by krishna will desire then he can just get manifest in front of us in any form so just by the darshan of that uh, shakti that krishna swarup just get manifested and uh, by the kripa of this naam hare krishna when you are just speaking but when you are just asking to krishna to come by this hari naam definitely krishna will get manifest in front of us so definitely krishna will just manifest in front of us so just to get the krishna shakti darshan we have already told you previously that this this is actually not a vishaya of krishna darshan krishna is not a uh, actually uh, uh, vishaya of darshan but how you can have darshan of krishna it is possible that the infinity shakti of bhagwan out of that one shakti name is sat prakashita sakshi there is one shakti one shakti is sat sat prakashita sakshi self manifesting shakti of bhagwan that's why i have told you in shri man mahaprabhu in uh, just was dancing in uh, seven sampradaya uh, in front of his dancing in front of uh, has just manifest himself in one sampradaya he was dancing in seven different sampradaya he was just dancing there this uh, kind of opulence has been uh, manifested by bhagwan that in everywhere i am there in front of pratap rudra and all so this by this is actually darshan shakti only of bhagwan this can get manifest in front of us and those who are actually that calling with krishna naam that krishna naam that krishna naam is chintamani swarup and at the same time shri krishna is vigra swarup is also there shri krishna naam is chintamani swarup and shri krishna naam is equal to chintamani is equal to chintamani swarup and shri krishna swarup it is actually chaitanya vikra swarup also so on shri naam is all the time in full form means it means that shri krishna etc these names etc are there this actually krishna naam is there having a full form it's were present in full form by this krishna bhakti by this krishna naam apeksha nahi kar 
we are actually not finding any fault in that. Maybe some Shri Narayan and Krishna and Mahasam, by using Vibhakti Yoga, it, we have to just uh, fulfill it fully. But this Shri Krishna Nam Narayan actually, these all these mantra are, are not there, it doesn't matter. Shri Krishna Nam, it is not a mantra actually. That we are not uh, desiring that it will be a mantra. So Krishna Swaroop and is Swayam, is Swayam, Swayam, Swayam Roop, it is there in full form. By Bhivakti Yoga, Krishna Narayan, Govinda, etc. We don't, no need to speak all these names. With Krishna Nam, everything, Krishna Ras, everything is just getting manifested in that Krishna Nam. When you are speaking Krishna Nam, Krishna Ras, Everything is just get manifested in that. And Naam is actually is all the time Vishuddha. Vishuddha means it is different from that material word. It is not coming in that category of material word. Naam is actually is Chaitanya Ras. It is no have relation with any material Shabda, material word. It is Chaitanya word, transcendental word. It is actually not contaminated by any material things, not at all, not possible. Naam is actually all the time free. Nobody can stop that Naam. And it's Nitya Mukta. Harinam is Nitya Mukta. Harinam is all the time Nitya Mukta. It is not at all getting uh, uh, controlled by anyone. And if actually sometimes he it has no connection with this material thing and object, he has it has Nam Prabhu has no no relationship with material object. If you are just thinking also, it is an aparad. With material thing, Nam is not getting uh, manifested from this material thing. Nam is not getting manifested from there. It is actually away from this uh, Maya Titvastu. It is Maya Titvastu, away from Maya. Those who are Krishna Das, who are actually servant of Krishna, they have just taken the ras of this Krishna Nam. Only they can understand this uh, Vyakya, what I am speaking. Those who are actually have done Krishna Nam, actual Krishna Nam, they have taken. They have just taken this Nam Rasa. They only can understand about uh, the glorification of this Hari Nam. Nam is all the time Mukta. It is actually Nitya Mukta. It is free. It is not coming from any material things. It has no relationship with material object. So those who have done this uh, Nam Sankirtan, as the Shravan of Nam Sankirtan, for them only, those people only, this kind of Vyakya uh, of this opera, transcendental world, they can understand. Otherwise, others can't understand this. So those actually who are actually doing Nam, they are just uh, thinking uh, uh, in a material way. They just want to think that uh, Krishna has come from this material thing. So they are actually not getting any transcendental rasa in that. Those who are actually not getting that. So what kind of uh, Vyakya I have just given discussion about that. So they, they are actually not getting any Anand. Because what I have uh, shown you, just by hearing this kind of Vyakya, this kind of discussion, that those who have that, uh, this kind of Bhava, inside Nama, they don't have 100% faith in Nam. Those who have not 100% faith on Hari Nam, they are actually, they are actually just uh, busy in just having this kind of uh, discussion about Nam. That they are, those who are actually thinking that Nam is actually material and uh, they are actually not getting any transcendental rasa in Hari Nam. They actually just by, after hearing the discussion, they can't find any preeti towards Harinam. Maybe all the time, whatever Harinam we are just speaking, that is not Nam. What we are speaking, that all the time we are speaking that Harinam from our mouth, that is not Harinam. That in our tongue actually Nam is going on all the time. Means whenever we are just doing that, we are actually doing Harinam. Harvagasam Nam 
all the time we are doing hari naam so how this actually it is actually not hari naam if someone actually speaking that i am we are actually doing some naam all the time all the time we are doing uh, what uh, what we are actually just doing naam that is actually that is actually not aprakrit naam that aprakrit shabd brahm what i have already told previously i have told in this these in these days also i was telling that in this condition that hari naam actually bhakti no thakur speaking that those uh, uh, bonded jeevas in their material condition it is not at all possible to do krishna naam we say that is jad shabd brahm that is material shabd brahm and this naam actually that cannot be called considered as nitya mukta those who are doing this kind of naam that naam is uh, naam is non different and then after uh, just sh- doing shravan of that naam if he is just thinking that he can understand that it is not at all good to speak this thing they will not get uh, preeti love from that they will not get attracted to that when they will be just uh, hearing this kind of uh, discussion they will not get attracted to this why because they are going into the other uh, discussion whatever actually we are uh, speaking actually it is all material this is actually not nitya mukta what we are speaking bhakti no thakur also speaking rup go swami pad also speaking now avet gajvindri shivan mukhi थिंग when it is coming in contact with those material sense organs then there is one enjoyment with that enjoyment is produced but krishna naam is actually aprakrit it is cannot be cannot be understood by these material sense organs so uh, in our tongue in our tongue whenever some uh, hari naam get just get manifested on our tongue then naam actually is uh, in reality that actual naam is just coming on our tongue at that point our atma that aprakrit anand of our atma that is just get manifested in front of us and according to that this anand of atma that anand is that that is actually beyond our material sense organs and then that should the complete hari naam just got manifested then definitely it will bestow transcendental results and the devotees when they when they are just doing the devotees they are doing transcendental naam sankirtan on their tongue then that a prakrit jeeva our tongue becomes transcendental and by that anand etc all these kind of preeti lakshan just come uh, inside that devotee and by the spriti he is just doing nitya dancing all the time by doing naam sankirtan i have already told you the shloka he was actually all this prakrit ras actually just going away and our tongue actually just a prakrit naam just got started dancing in a material tongue in material tongue that aprakrit naam will not come at all it is not possible and when we are doing sadhan in that sadhan kal when we are uh, practicing hari naam that is actually not uh, actual naam that is actually nama bhas in the sadhan kriya also at the time of sadhan kriya what when you are doing uh, doing hari naam that is actually not vastavik naam that is not actual naam that is called nama bhas in nama bhas actually called by nama bhas there is gradual promotion of the jeevas sometimes actually this aprakrit naam uh, can get on to the tongue by nama bhas slowly steadily jeevas that gradual promotion promotional procedure by nama bhas they are getting that that is not nama aprad 
that is namabhas and namabhas actually jeevas are getting that gradual promotional procedure this procedure actually there are lot of uh, incident that has happened that that aprakrit harina they are getting ruchi in that like valmiki is one example i have already told you previously that valmiki uh, not even used to speak naam he was can't even speak ram 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 he was not speaking ram ram that is a very far distant thing he don't have this kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, thing that how he can speak ram 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 so sinful he is that he can't even speak ram ram also also that valmiki actually narad ji actually speaking that okay you you speak mara 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 you can speak mara na so you speak mara if you can't speak ram okay you speak mara but after speaking mara 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 after that that becomes ram isme that mara word becomes ram in that from in of all kind of aprad what he has done previously valmiki muni that ratnagar das to all that all everything is destroyed in ajamil also i will definitely speak in one to two days that what is the actual life of ajamil that everything you can understand from that if in the life of jeevas there are aprad then they will not be having ruchi in harina Prabhupada ji is also speaking this that there is in one maha mahapurush in these from the lotus mouth of this maha mahapurush when you are hearing hari naam from when you are hearing that hari katha still you are hearing that hari katha from those maha mahapurush that you are not getting that uh, parmarthik mangal that spiritual benefit Prabhupada speaking that from the mouth of the lotus mouth of hari katha still you can't get uh, that uh, pathway of eternal happiness if there is uh, aparad of previous birth that is not at all possible jeevas in their heart when there is uh, anarth inside their heart when in their life in the jeeva there is some apara kind of aparad in their life it means anarth is some kind of anarth is still there in their life aparad is a different thing and anarth is a different thing so if an earth will be there inside their heart in their life so because of that aparad they will not get ruchi in hari naam aparad sunno then they will become free from aparad anarth to hatane that anarth when when it is getting removed when they are just taking hari naam after that that this naam it will just get inside their heart in jate tanaras vigraha that aprakrit hari naam will just get manifested in their heart then the jeeva has aparad they can't do hari naam when they are just free from aparad when they are free from aparad what those persons who will just take shelter of krishna naam inside their heart mahaprabhu is just taking chaitanya ras vigraha swarup is just getting manifested in their heart aprakrit naam when it is just getting manifested on your tongue inside your heart our heart just become full of blissfulness and our eyes become full of water and there is different kind of satvik vikar inside our in on on inside our body so these kind of things just happen automatically it will happen that is actual uh, prabhav of hari naam in shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran also it is written there that uh, this very nice hari naam actually we are actually just uh, doing hari naam and if inside our heart no crying and all the satvik bhava not coming that it means that there is a prad inside his heart definitely inside our heart there is no astasatvik vikar inside our body and there are no crying no water is coming in our eyes and our hairs are not standing erect then we are we uh, understood about this point that, that there is some kind of aparad when jeev actually taking hari naam 
एट दैट पॉइंट हिज हार्ट शुड डेफिनेटली दैट अष्टात्विक कार विल कम इट इज नेसेसरी ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल कम द वाटर विल कम इन द आईज एंड देयर विल बी रोमांच इन द बॉडी एंड दोज हु आर एक्चुअली डूइंग क्रिश्चन एंड आफ्टर दैट ही देयर इज नो रिएक्शन इज कमिंग इनसाइड हिज बॉडी then definitely are understood be understood about this point that there is his heart is very hard very hard his heart is very hard bhakti no thakur speaking this point that it is written in bhagwa ji mahapuran this shlok is taken from bhagwa ji mahapuran hridayam patidam tad gricha mahmeer harinam thevai nam vikno vikriye tatho jada vikaro netre jalam katro उटराट the how many types of aparad are there whether he actually to knows about nama aparad there are different brief discussion in depth discussion about nama aparad definitely i'll be doing uh, in later but i am doing preliminary discussion now there are actually 10 kinds of uh, nama aparad which is related with nama aparad that is actually 10 different kinds are there that is sadhu ninda that that to just compare bhagwan with uh, other shiv uh, adi demigods and guru avagya not to follow your guru dev for just to do ninda of all the shastras upanishad not to have confidence on they are just doing uh, blame all the shastras and upanishad and to just uh, you are just thinking ah oh, hari naam is nothing actually externally just not uh, praising hari naam he is actually speaking nothing is there in hari naam this actually just not praising hari naam that is aparad keval prashansa bolke you just speaking that hari naam is only nothing that is aparad and uh, in hari naam directly or indirectly they are doing arthavat to just making another kind of meaning of hari naam oh like this it is there arthavat is not like this so like this is arthavat making another kind of meaning in hari naam aar naam bole paap bhakti paap jana naam ki and uh, by the uh, on by the consent of naam on the on the consent of naam by just doing hari naam He is actually doing hari naam also and doing sinful activity. Oh, naam is there, no problem. We can do sinful activities, no worries. So this is actually a prad also. On the basis of hari naam, on the power of hari naam, by that, on that actually, just having confidence on that, he is doing a prad. Like he is going to Ganga. and he is just taking part there from delhi to bombay all the rich men are coming to take ganga ganga bath why because whatever uh, whatever in their business they have done sinful activities they just want to watch those pap sinful activities in ganga mahaprabhu actually speaking that with full shraddha and with prema they are not coming to take bath in ganga they are actually number 1 fraudsters they are just taking ac car they are just coming they are just want to jay ganga maiya ki jay they are just taking bath like that so that is naam bole paap ji whole month actually they are doing uh, all sinful activities and they just uh, want to just do hari naam and they just want to get out of that sinful activity so that is uh, comes in naam aparad that is very dangerous and that other kind of shubh karma whatever other kind of uh, uh, shubh karma all and brat upvas everything tapasya lot of things are there and i have already told you that previously so in the sapt gram when haridas thakur was just disrespected by hiran in the in the assembly of hiranya govardhan haridas thakur was disrespected by 
या एक ब्राह्मण गोपाल चक्रवर्ती देर इज वन ब्राह्मण वेरी फ्रॉम ही इज जस्ट एन ही डोंट हैव एनी कॉन्फिडेंस इन भगवान ही इज अ ब्राह्मण ओनली एंड ही एक्चुअली वेन ही जस्ट हर्ट द ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ हरिदास ठाकुर एक्चुअली ही सेट ही इज एक्चुअली इमोशनल ही डोंट डोंट हियर अबाउट ही इज इमोशनल वॉट एक्चुअली वी कांट गेट इन तपस्या वॉट वी कांट गेट बाय जब जब ही इनाम एवरीथिंग इज देयर हाउ इट कैन बी पॉसिबल ही स्पोकन इन बंगला दैट हो सो इमोशनल दिस पर्सन हरिदास ठाकुर सो इमोशनल मूड ही हैज हाउ इट कैन बी पॉसिबल हरुदास ठाकुर नॉट स्पीकिंग एनीथिंग एंड वेन एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग इन द होल असेंबली वाई एक्चुअली आर जस्ट एक्चुअली ही हैज दैट आर गोइंग मोड i don't get confidence on him okay no problem if you don't you don't want to believe let him not believe do all this yagya yagya tapasya whatever is uh, done i have already spoken uh, all the time that in different different hari katha about this karma veer jat tapasya gyan vairag tatasch jag jogena dan dharmena sevir tarai rupi jagat sagar vaidya That is the actual. Uh, what is actually bhakti? Bhakti tab naam grahanadi bhi. Bhagwan just to uh, with full priti and prem when we are just calling Bhagwan with his name that is called bhakti. So just by the uh, on the basis of naam, just have to have confidence on naam and just to sinful activity that is aprat. That is just to compare all those shubh karma with the hari naam. Uh, you are can do hari naam and, and uh, this shubh karma you are doing that is also equivalent to that so whatever karma uh, uh, which are uh, fruitative just to compare that with hari naam that is aprat so there is a lot of uh, discussion in that those who are ashraddhavan those who are don't have faith in hari naam like you you will just be thinking our guru varg is uh, in a negative way that uh, just always have to give updesh of hari naam to shraddhavan vyakti i'll just discuss it later there is so glorification of hari naam after getting glorification of hari naam hearing that still you have no confidence in hari naam when you have just heard the glorification infinity glorification of hari naam but still after that you don't have faith in hari naam 100% that is called that is a 10th number a naam aparadh so those ashraddhavan vyakta those to who to give that hari naam that ashraddhavan vyakti we don't have to give hari naam then who to give hari naam so at least he should have that shraddha that definitely the discussion should be there regarding this when sanatan go swami pad and haridas thakur ma prabhu has just sent him so you go each and every corner of the house and just speak hari naam krishna naam because you you can think everyone there is shraddhavan people there they have shraddha with hari naam no that's why this discussion i will just do it in briefly when i will just speaking about 10 naam kinds of naam aparad there i will just speak just have ashraddha towards uh, pure devotees pure guru vaishnav and just be uh, that is aparad against hari naam when you are just uh, disrespecting pure guru vaishnav those who want to do uh, hari naam under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav if they are just doing sadhu ninda and guru ninda they are just blaming them if you are if there is any doubt in then you are finding fault in the kriya karam of gurudev why actually gurudev done this this kind of question coming then if we just want to understand this why you gurudev has done this and uh, unknowingly we will be just uh, doing some kind of a brand and if we just want to uh, understand that why and just uh, finding fault in our gurudev then it will come in the form of aparad so those people actually they are taking the ashray of nam with full they have taken the shelter of 100% shelter with full sharnagati they have taken shelter of harinam he just want to go ahead 
Bhagavan. Just to compare, uh, Brahma Shiv is just thinking everything is same only. You can do Archana, Naam of Hari, that is also Bhajan, what they are doing of demigods. Just to compare that, uh, Sh- B- Brahma Shiv, etc., all other demigods, you are just thinking uh, they are non different from Bhagavan and you are just that comes in the form of Harinama Parath. That is counted there in Harinama Parath. That Vishnu. That Shiv, Brahma, everyone actually is all the same. Their bhajan is non-different. And all other demigods, you are thinking it is non-different. Maybe there is difference in naam. All those uh, Shiv, etc., all different kind of demigods, they are uh, are there just thinking that uh, there is no manyata about that because everything has come from Bhagwan. All those Shiv, etc., demigods, that Shankar comes in Gunavatar, Brahmaji also comes in Gunavatar, Rajsik Avatar, Tamsik Avatar, they are coming in Gunavatar. And uh, those Bhagavad Bhakta, just to just respect them like that, there is no aparad like that. Just Vaishnavanam Yatha Shambhu, you can speak like that. Those actually, who are actually speaking that Mahadev is an independent demigod, and he is just doing uh, Shiv Puja and uh, Vishnu Puja, then they will definitely be destroying the Bhagavata of Mahadev. They are not at all actually accepting Bhagavata of Mahadev. In this, Vishnu and Shiv, both of them, they will uh, be doing a pradhan to Lotus Feet of both Vishnu and Shiv. And they, after taking Ashray of Harinam, still, they are actually, they have taken the shelter of Harinam, but still they have this kind of uh, Veda Gyan, they can just uh, uh, quit that, they can leave that. Guru of Agya is also Nama Prad. From where actually Bhagavad Gita we can understand from that source, that Guru Kebal, there are those actually who by the Guru Kripa only we can just understand the Siddhant Vichar. And if this Gurudev only we are just throwing him and we are not actually doing a prad onto his lotus feet, that is called Guru Bhagya. It comes in Nama Prad. We are not actually understanding what Gurudev speaking, we are just doing opposite. Just be uh, just be sure that who is actually Gurudev. Bhagavan actually in Bhagavad Ji Mahaprabhu in 11th Kanto Bhagavan have spoken this point that who is Guru? That I am myself is Acharya Guru. So if you are just in this condition you are doing uh, disrespect of Guru then definitely you are doing uh, Aparadha to Lotus Feet of Naam. Just by the Kripa of those Lotus Feet that Gurudev we are just getting that Divya Gyan inside our heart. If we are actually that we are doing aparad onto their lotus feet, that is the top most dangerous thing ever done. So in this Guru Charan, just by doing Drid Bhakti onto the lotus feet of Gurudev, just to get uh, uh, Harina, uh, confidence on Harina, just to get Drid Bhakti onto lotus feet of Harina, uh, Gurudev, just to get uh, Stable, stable bhakti onto Harinam. That bhakti no Thakur speaking is good, is, accept, is acceptable. And just to. And all those Vedas, etc., we are not understanding that. Actually, it, Vedas, it is written this, that, and we are actually just uh, finding fault in that. We haven't uh, understand this point that Vedas, uh, Sakshat Krishna. Bhagavan himself speaking this to Uddhavji Maharaj that in this is in the sixth canto it is written in the Ajamil in the Ajamil uh, story of Ajamil it is written when when you are just doing uh, the Ninda of Shastra that is not at all good when you are blaming Shastra Smriti Shastra we okay we haven't understand the shastra but still you just need to go to that one place where is some tattvagyan is there he will definitely give us that understanding about that and if uh, uh, without any reason we are just blaming that then everything is gone we are done aparad so when we are doing a blaming blaspheming those shastras it is uh, not at all acceptable strictly prohibited 
called the smriti shastra if we are just making this vichar that uh, just to understand uh, bhagavad bhagavad dharma atma dharma is uh, able we can able to understand if we are just uh, blaming blaspheming vedanta we are just doing uh, a prana to lotus feet of hari naam in the veda shastra all the time there is glorification of hari naam we can see that in the shastras in the vedas everywhere whether it's tulsidas ramayan whether it is mahabharat whether it is ramayan or whether every any shastra bhakti no thakur that's why it's speaking that ved shastra all the time there is glorification of uh, uh, hari naam is there in the ved shastras and what is that vedi ramayane chaivo purane bharate tatha In uh, all the shastras, that is the actual conclusion of all the shastra that is just to uh, glorify Hari Nam. All those Bhagavata, etc. All actually just want to glorify Hari Nam all the time. That is to just uh, manifest the Swarupa of Bhagwan in front of everyone. That is the actual conclusion of all the shastras. At every place, whether in Vedas, whether in Ramayan, whether in Quran, whether in Mahabharat, everywhere, wherever possible, uh, from starting till the end, all the time there is glorification of Hari Nam. All the time there is actually glorification of Hari Nam. I can all always show you show you how Mahaprabhu actually uh, to their uh, to their uh, students. He just want to glorify all the time. He want to uh, tell them about the glorification of Hari Nam, and at the and the end also in the Vyakaran, and he was just uh, uh, studying Vyakaran. He was uh, speaking that uh, the glorification of Hari Nam is the topmost uh, in our life. He just want to prove that. In each and everywhere, from starting till the end, everywhere there is a glorification of Hari and Hari Nam. That Hari is the topmost. That Hari is and Hari Nam is not different, so it is all the same. So just to glorify that, it is written in shastras. So those people, those uh, they are doing such shastra ninda. They are actually doing a prana to lotus feet of Hari Nam. They are doing. They are actually Nam apradi. These actually they don't get any fruit regarding Hari Nam. They were not getting any increment in their Hari Nam, and they are actually they are doing some karam kand and some uh, fruitative activities. They are doing material fruitative activities. They are actually just comparing Hari Nam with that. That it is all the same. So this karam kand actually in the Vedas actually uh, Bhagwan has just uh, given it to all those material person so that uh, they can do and do aparad in order to stop that so that they can't go on that negative pathway. That's why they have just uh, uh, glorified this. If you do this kind of karam, then you will get this kind of fruit. This is false shruti just to to. Um, Maintain that balance. So, if that Hari Nam falls through, the what? By what Hari Nam we can get? If if we can get this kind of thinking, then in the Vedas actually it is written. Oh, if you will do this, you will get that. Just to get uh, ruchi on Hari Nam, just in order to, just in order to maintain their material desires. they are actually doing all these kind of things but harinam ka that harinam jo prabhav hai the actual prabhav of harinam the glorification of harinam that you can't even compare all these kind of fruitative material fruitative activities just in order to uh, increase the ruchi in harinam whatever they are doing good or bad if in, in order to engage them in uh, uh, they are that just to give that greediness in them so that they can get ruchi on to hari nam and they can just be doing some karam kand activities so that's why it is uh, being done definitely i'll be speaking about this tomorrow 
and whatever other fruitative material, fruitative activities you are doing, that false shruti, what will be the result of that? It is written in the Vedas just to give uh, ruchi onto the lotus feet of Harinam so that he should get that ruchi towards Harinam. So if you are thinking in the same way as Harinam, then it will become aparat. So oh, what is written in Vedas, it is like Harinam also is all the same. You will get this, you will get that. So like Harinam is also like that, then it will, you will do Aparat. So those who are actually doing Arthavad in the Naam Fal Shruti, then definitely they are actually very, uh, have ill luck. They are not at all intelligent. So those who are actually very lucky, they are very, very lucky. Those actually, they are actually doing, they don't believe in Arthavad. They know that, that uh, Harinam has so much power, they have so infinity power is there in Harinam that all these things, if actually some argument was there, some fighting was going on this topic only, that uh, Hiranya Govardhan in the assembly of Hiranya Govardhan you can see, and Haridas Thakur he has just disrespected him there, and after that Gopal Chakravarti just he is getting sweared leprosy on his body, and his uh, nose just got melted and uh, just uh, cut down. It just got melted. And that's why in Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran it is written that those who uh, just want to be get nirvik, those who want to get nirvik, they actually, they should have this confidence on Harinam, full confidence on Harinam, full confidence on Harinam, that they should uh, do Anukirtan of Harinam, they should take shelter of Harinam. If they will be doing like a club where they will be doing like a club where like, then they should not do like that on their own. Under the guidance of Guru Vaishnav, they have to do Harinam. Bhagavan Harinam, do do Anukirtan of Harinam under the guidance of Guru Vaishnav, that is the topmost thing. So there are a lot of persons. What is Nama Abhas? And what is Nama Aparad? And what is that actual Harinam, Shuddha Nam? They can't understand that. Lot of persons are there, they just think that that Nam Akshar means there is only one syllable, some syllable, like Omkar. They are thinking that is this is just one word only, Maharaj. This is just a syllable, they are thinking. But be sure about this point, that in Gita, be careful that in Gita, Bhagavan Swayam is just speaking about this truth. He has done... This shloka actually Bhagavan speaking. That this Ekakshar Brahmantra that is uh, Sakshat Brahma only, Swayam Brahma. So those people who are not understanding this, that this, uh, this is actually just a word, Maharaj Hare Krishna Hare Nam. He is nothing actually, nothing is there in this word. It's just one word actually. They don't have this confidence in them. They are thinking that this Naam actually is some syllable. By some uh, word actually it is just getting manifested. It is just kind of one material word. But actually it's not like that. Naam is actually Akshar Aprakrit Shabda Brahm. If we are actually just taking Naam by that, then what will be the actual fruit? What will the actual result? If we are just thinking that Naam is just a simple word, then definitely the result will be opposite. What will be the result, you see? Like the case of Ajamil, you can see. Definitely I will be speaking tomorrow about on this topic it is very important to discuss on this topic because those people who have that uh, uh, misconception they don't have this confidence on that then definitely they will be thinking opposite way Naam is actually first Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha, Purna Suddha Nitta Mukto, Avinna Tvat Namana. Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha, Avinna Tvat Namana.
then they are not they are it is beyond material sense organs can't be understood by material sense organ and naam rash ashray just not taking that without any aparad if without aparad which should hari naam can get manifest up till that and when aparad is just uh, uh, we are if we are not doing hari naam without aparad then the actual result of naam it is not at all possible that we can get that those who are actually do if you don't have any shraddha on to hari naam if you are without shraddha so those people who are without shraddha and they are doing hari naam naam shravan they are doing definitely slowly steadily they will get that shrad uh, naam with full shraddha maybe slowly steadily it means maybe uh, just that hari naam is not at all a destructible word it is actually it is not uh, those who are not understanding that those thinking that uh, it is actually comes in karam kand they are actually vaishnav apradhi naam apradhi and very carefully uh, with very careful mood they just need to uh, make sure that they are not doing naam aparad and they are just uh, making of a, a safe distance from naam aparad otherwise no uh, actual uh, result you will get apart from that there are some persons like this that they have taken the shelter of hari naam and uh, all kind of sinful activities they have we are just getting relieved from that and uh, with this kind of confidence they are just doing uh, they are doing uh, robbery everything is all sinful activities are doing on the on the consent of naam they are they just want to remove all kind of sinful activities with the on the consent of naam they are actually naam apradhi and those who have just taken of uh, naam shelter of naam and they are just getting asakt in this uh, material things asad vastus they don't need to do that if they will do then opposite result they will get all the sinful activities they have just and just to do hari naam with that that is kapat bhav you can understand this point is vishay in on on this uh, vishay there is shlok in geeta bhagwan actually speaking there is one shloka of geeta on this shloka on the basis of this shloka lot of persons are doing uh, uh, opposite to vyakhya you see it is written opposite shudra char bhagwan on the basis of naam no bhakti no thakur speaking it is naam this is not like that cheap bhakti no thakur actually speaking that those persons because according to their previous sanskar if they are actually just taken the shelter of hari naam only like uh, the shelter of the lotus feet of hari naam only but still what to do because of the previous sanskar they have it is so bad that they can't even uh, stay they have done uh, that sinful activity immediately he have uh, actually has not done according to his own will but uh, surprisingly immediately it has done because of his previous sanskar uh, by his own will he has not done that sinful activity bhakti no thakur speaking that because of that previous sanskar he has that sudrachar previously what he has done in his previous life because of that that sinful activity has done automatically sudrachar bolte se by sudrachar it means that he is doing the hari naam and at the same time is doing sinful activity is not good so sudrachar previously he was doing a bad activity and because of that and he has not taken shelter of anyone apart from bhagwan definitely you think that he is sadhu only why because his brain is his intellect is now well organized he is he is well established in ananya bhakti now okay previous sanskar is there is not good but still because of that that devotee he don't need to do any kind of renunciation with that he just don't no he don't need to do any kind of price chit renunciation for that bhagwan has given this kind of confidence 
that if some kind of sinful activity is done uh, because of the previous uh, sanskar then uh, definitely i will go inside his heart and i will just destroy that kind of sinful activity in his heart that's why bhagwan has given this kind of confidence that in those devotees sometimes surprisingly that sinful activity comes in their heart if some kind of sinful activity is done then definitely i will come in i am there inside his heart and i will just destroy that kind of sinful activity i will just fire it up that is why he don't need to do any kind of renunciation for that differently so this uh, when you are doing sinful activities again and again and and, and doing hari naam that is the top most naam aparad but those bhakti vinod thakur actually that uh, vyakhya he is doing that discussion that he is not actually doing by his own will okay surprisingly immediately it was done without his will it is done this sinful activity was done if you are doing uh, again and again those sinful activities and just doing uh, hari naam that is called kapat bhav that comes in ab naam aparad that is a very dangerous aparad serious aparad so other person actually doing yag yagya teerth yatra whatever they are this uh, all the material shubh karma is doing so actually all the same hari naam is also same like that if he is just thinking like this they are actually naam aparadhi naam naam is all the time is chidra swarup is chidanandamay is full of chidanandamay swarup full of aprakrit ras hari naam and there is no other sat karm you can't compare that with hari naam you cannot compare that why because all actually they are material uh, whatever you yagya all actually all are material whatever yagya what actually all uh, dravya mai all material on up, up till and unless when you will not get that uh, transcendental spiritual consciousness inside your heart if you are doing this that whatever but if what is the net outcome you are getting you are getting that chin mai bhav or not is there any gradual promotion of that chit bhav how much chit bhav is you are getting inside your heart because whatever work actually you are doing yagya is also material dan dakshina donation you are giving its material sat karma all kind all kind of sat karma are material all actually are material there is no chit mai in this agar but those with in order to just uh, increase your chit bhav with that then definitely it is good ultimately if you will ultimately get that chit bhav whatever temple uh, in the math mandir you are getting anushthan if there is no bhakti there is no touch of chit bhav then everything will be uh, destroyed mean useless everything is useless so naam ka saath so with name actually you can't and compare anything with that like yagya and all everything these are all material you can't any kind of uh, uh, material uh, shubh karm you can't compare with hari naam it is not at all good so those people actually are taking uh, shelter of aprakrit naam those who have not taken the aswadan of aprakrit naam they are actually speaking like this like uh, like a mirror you are actually comparing it with, with diamond just just uh, for that that externally they are one and the same that uh, that mirror actually that glass actually you are comparing it with the diamond <laughs> so much difference is there in between the, between these two so the diamond between diamond and uh, mirror there is difference and the same way that harinam there is difference between harinam and all those uh, karma kand and materialistic things uh, infinity difference is there you can't even compare that and after that we will uh, definitely i will be doing detailed discussion about this those who are shraddhavan people and those who are ashraddhavan when you giving uh, uh, naam to upadesh to him why because if you to the monkeys you will be giving up uh, uh, mala of pearls then he will be just thinking that he can't understand that he will just destroy that if some to to some monkey you are giving one uh, 
mala of pearl necklace of pearl because he will not he don't understand the actual respect given to that uh, necklace of pearl he don't know the because he don't know that so costly he don't know the actual uh, cost of that so because of that those who are actually not getting uh, their shraddha towards hari naam like this then for them actually it is not good to do uh, upadesh of hari naam in front of them that will come in amrit kaal and those all those jeevas actually how to get the shraddha on, uh, on to hari naam all those jeevas it is very uh, important to make those arrangement that is the actual target of all the preaching activities whatever preaching you are doing that should be the actual target of uh, all the preaching activities that in each and every jeeva the glorification of hari naam can get manifested inside the heart of everyone so that they can get shraddha on to the lotus feet of hari naam and after getting shraddha the naam will manifest everything in front of him so a lot of vichar are there actually they are inside it when haridas thakur and uh, nitanand prabhu actually mahaprabhu were uh, both of them were sent by mahaprabhu for preaching hari naam it is written there in one one place and uh, another pers- another place actually it is written जाओ नित्य गो एंड नित्यानंद एंड हरिदास यू जस्ट टेक माई इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड यू जस्ट नीड टू गिव उपदेश टू ईच एंड एवरी हरी नाम ऑन द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ हरी नाम यू गिव दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन टू ईच एंड एवरी वन दिस वेरी इन डेप्थ विचार अबाउट दिस लाइक महाप्रभु हैज टोल्ड this actually mahapro what he told this kind of vichar is very important to understand uh, otherwise it is very difficult it is already written like this and then again he is speaking why why mahapro is speaking like this each and every person had that shraddha that mahaprabhu actually speaking it was already written in shastra that it will come in that ten come ten kinds of naam aprad it will come that not to give hari naam to that shraddha one person that nitana prabhu has done any fault hari das thakur has done any fault mahaprabhu is doing fault so what is the actual secret behind this what is the actual secret behind this hidden secret definitely i'll be speaking it tomorrow and i will be just giving it the rest today bhakti nath thakur the glorification of uh, we are just actually discussing it hari naam chintamani actually it is very very uh, in depth and we just need to discuss that uh, with full di- uh, with full uh, discussion we have to do that how to do naam and uh, about uh, naam aparad i will definitely be discussing about that in uh, the coming days nikhil shruti mauli ratnamala duti niraji tapad pankajan पतिदान पावन भव वैष्णव्यो नम